When you first start a lawn business, you have a lot of expectations and a lot of hope, but the first year, man, uh, it does not come without its challenges. We're gonna talk about some of the things that you need to brace yourself for whenever you are starting your lawn care business. The first is, is your first year in business, you are probably going to be fighting for survival, okay? Um, you will have to kick, claw, fight, scratch, bleed for everything that you get. You're not going to start your business with a lot of accounts. It's going to be slow going and things are going to be lean, man. And you are going to have to work hard, okay? Um, you are going to have to work long, long hours and you are going to have to learn a lot of stuff, okay? It's not like just going out there and cutting some grass and making side money, dude. Like if you're, if you're pushing all your chips in and this is what you want to do, your entire identity has to change. You are now a business owner and that has to be your identity like that is your new identity there is no waffling back and forth and your complete mindset has to shift number one is really just an identity shift number two uh, you may have heard before that running a business is stressful but in particular the thing that's stressful is you do not know what your level of stress tolerance is okay meaning that if you have not been exposed to, to people being upset at you, if you've not been exposed to um, projects falling short, to, to um, mismanaging time, if you've not been exposed to having money problems with, with just like trying to make ends meet, um, just all like learning all this new stuff, it is extremely stressful whenever you're getting going and everybody has a different level of stress tolerance. That being said, um, as you begin to become a better business owner, those stresses go down and down and down but in the beginning I mean you are going to be in a constant state of stress okay running a business it is extremely stressful and and you're not going to really know how stressful it is until you're in that situation that being said there is light at the end of the tunnel and it's something that you grow with and become more more better at managing uh, and the things that you know used to stress you out will no longer stress you out and then you'll take on bigger problems and then those problems will stress you out but then those big problems they don't become problems in the future you know because you just get better at dealing with stress number three is you're not going to have all the equipment that you need um, to be as productive as you should be and as comfortable as you should be and you're and frankly you're just not going to have backups for everything and that's going to represent a real problem for you at some point in particular me uh, we were very reliant upon the 36 inch standard we got in a lot of back gates but I didn't have money to have multiple standards so whenever our, our standard went down you know we were forced to get a 21 inch push mower and push mow those backyards and that's what we built our business on was was having those small tight yards i was not in a position financially to have a lot of backup equipment so if equipment went down you know we were literally at the mercy of our dealer getting that equipment back to us um, in a timely fashion or getting to a rental yard and getting some equipment um, ready but but the thing that i want to stress for you is is you need to really think about about how you have your business set up and what happens when something goes down because you absolutely, it doesn't matter if you buy a brand new mower right out of the gate with warranty and everything, it doesn't matter. Like it's going to, something's going to happen and it's going to go down. How are you going to handle that? You need to be prepared because you're not going to have backup equipment for everything. Hey guys, if this video is being a help for you, uh, leave me a comment as to what was the biggest challenge for you your first year in business. Uh, consider hitting the like button. Um, really, really helps me out um, with reaching more people. Next is your uh, work-life balance. And um, frankly, you're really not gonna have a very good work-life balance uh, in the first year or two, all right? Um, you're, you're selling out. Again, you're pushing all your chips in and this is your new identity. And there's just, there's just gonna be times, guys, when you're having to work 12 hours, 13, 14 hour days, you come home and then do office work all night and you're, you know, your wife be upset at you. You, you, you know, you got stuff going on with it. And we all do this to have a better life and to manage our time and make more money. But there has to be a certain understanding that, that while you are getting this thing flying, like you're trying to do lift off. And while you're doing that, you have to have everybody pulling in the same direction. And everybody has to be on the page that there is a certain amount of sacrifice, not just by you, by giving up your time and investing in this thing, but everybody else who wants your time as well, they have to be on board with giving you up for a little while as well. Meaning that, yes, you may be late coming home someday. You may be late getting to a kid's sporting event. It's just the ugly side of it, guys, that if you really want to get this thing up and running um, and, 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 and off to a really good start, you just have to make sacrifices of long, hard work 
and everybody needs to be on the same page that the work-life balance is not going to be all sunshine and rainbows um, whenever we are getting our business up off the ground. Guys, real quick, if you would like some help in navigating your first year in your lawn care business, um, check out Turf Pros Academy. I truly feel like it is a fantastic value as a fantastic course for just speeding you up and getting you profitable right out of the gate for starting your new lawn care business. Give it a shot. Um, we're really having a great time in there and we've just received tons of great feedback um, from people enjoying the course. The next thing is you're probably going to have a problem with your confidence in the beginning. And even if you don't feel like you're having a problem with your confidence, your clients will pick up that you are a new guy. You're going to have a tendency to make things personal um, when clients reject your bid or they th say it's too high or if they want you to come back and redo work that you've done, you're just going to have a tendency to make things personal because you don't have good confidence. And really, one of the best things that you can do as a business owner uh, is building rapport and confidence with your clients. And frankly, that just takes time. You need to be prepared to just have um, some awkward moments uh, in your first year in business in dealing with clients and sending out estimates. Um, nobody likes to um, feel like they're they're not the best at what they do, but frankly, you're not going to be. There is a learning curve and, and you're just not gonna be the best. That being said, you can be authentic, okay, in what you're doing and just, just shoot straight with your client. Go out of your way to develop relationships with them, um, build a rapport, but, but always work on being professional okay with with your mindset and your and your eye on the future for how you want your business to look and how you want your clients to view you in the future a lot of this can come down to to uniforms the way you carry yourself your interaction with your client and again your confidence is not going to be great in the beginning but it's something you just need to prepare yourself for to work really hard um, in building your confidence and then creating good rapport and communication skills um, with the people that you're dealing with Next is going to be a labor. You may not think that you want to hire somebody, you want to be a solo guy, but um, me and anybody else would encourage you at least consider getting on another person to just lighten the workload for you a little bit, okay? That being said, it's going to be very, very challenging in the beginning because you just don't have much to offer. Yes, you can pay this person, you know, a pretty decent wage, but you know, if you don't have 40 hours for them or a full workload, people just really aren't interested in a little bit of work here and there, okay? And I've just found that the kind of help that you get whenever you're just bringing on somebody like here and there, it's just not very good help. The kind of help that is the best is somebody who has responsibilities, who needs 40 hours a week, who wants to be paid well, uh, and, they're th and they have a full plate, you know, and they have responsibilities um, that, that they have to pay bills. If you are just bringing on somebody part-time um, who, who just the, the extent of their responsibilities is making a cell phone payment, you know, because they're still living with mom and dad or or you're just trying to get help here and there. It's just going to be very, very difficult. And you need to prepare yourself for that. Don't go into this with blinders thinking, I'm just going to, you know, pay somebody pretty good and I'll get all the part-time help I need. It doesn't work like that. In the beginning, you will struggle finding good quality help. Look, everybody loves to think, you know, I'll just start a lawn business, it'll be amazing. You know, I'll make 50, 75, $100 an hour and I'll control my own schedule. And all those things are true. They are true and you can do it. But you need to prepare yourself um, for these things that I've talked about. So look, while this industry has a, a lot of benefits from making fantastic money to, to controlling your own time, you know, building something that you're proud of, you need to go into this with uh, eyes wide open, okay? Uh, it's not to say it to scare anybody off. I just want you to be prepared to, to plow through these challenges as, as easily and as quickly as possible. These are the things that kind of caught me off guard my first year, and I just want to share it with you. Look, these are the things that caught me off guard my first year in business, and if you're starting a lawn care business, I want to share it with you so you don't make the same mistakes, or at least so you can meet these challenges head on.